I live my own, so this was nothing new to me. But um, no, it's not. It was nice to have some downtime, listen to a bit of music, just just zone out. To be honest, not not really think about the fight or think about the situation. Just enjoy having a bit of downtime, not having to rush the gym or anything like that. What do you know about John Doherty? Have you rate what you've seen of him? Um, yeah, he's right. Carries a bit of power. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, he comes to fight and. Um, well, I've seen him. I've seen him a few times. When he fights southpaws, he goes in the back foot in boxes. And then, when he's got a bit of boxing, then he's a bit better. But when he comes to fight, um, as he done his last fight there, I, I do reckon I will knock him out very quickly. Um, but I reckon the boys who he's beat is just put him as a journeyman. They've just come in there thinking, ah, oh, he's going to be a journeyman. It's going to be an easy night work. Well, obviously it's not. And um, I know that for a fact. You know I mean, and um, I put my body through hell. And you'll see on Saturday, uh, Friday night um, that I've not uh, misled uh, Anthony Fox. I took him serious. See, we have had a lot of his fights televised on Sky, so we've seen a lot of him, and um, seems to be since he's moved up in weight, he's become a lot more effective. Listen, he's a, he's a good fighter. He's um, you know he's a good strong game fighter. He um, you know he's he's, he's, he's the, like you say, British middleweight champion. He um, he fought Jared Howard for the world title. He's he's been he's been in with Liam Smith. He's he's he, he boxed Matthew Macklin. He's been about phases, hasn't he? But um, listen, he's, he's he's been about. He's very experienced, and you know I'm expecting a good half fight from um, Wellborn. He's gonna come to fight. But I think I'm the younger, better, um, more skillful, and fresher man, and um, I then do the business on him. We know you've had your eyes on this fight ever since you turned pro. Shannon said, "Living in your head, rent free." What was how you described it? I mean, it doesn't. It didn't it like annoy me? I just think, well. Surely you'd want to know what other women pro boxers are in the UK. There's, there's so very few of us. How can you not be aware of who else is, is in the game? You know, that's, that's my, my view on it. I do really try and make an effort to keep up to date with women's boxing, especially in the UK, because we're, we're an advocate for it, you know. So for me, that, that's the reason why I just think it was a, a daft comment, really. I mean. Yeah, so, I, you know, as I say, I like to do my research and, and know who's about, and uh, I can't really understand why someone else wouldn't do that. I think people are seeing me as um, the nice guy, and they're letting me slip under, under the radar a little bit. Like, um, I'm here to fully put myself up there in the mix, and every time they mention the likes of Cheeseman, Fowler, Eggington, they're going to be mentioning Conway as well. I won't ask you to list your whole amateur sort of CV, but for people that don't know uh, what you achieved as an amateur, just list some of the um, achievements. Well, I was the only uh, junior boxer ever to win a Four Nations senior title, which is a bit of a history uh, back in 2003. Um, I am a European bronze medalist, top 10 in the world as an amateur, uh, European Union bronze medalist as well. A WSB team winner with the Kazakhstan Astana Ireland. Um, what else? I have about 300 amateur fights. I've won about 240, so it's not too bad. I don't know exactly accurate, but in or, in or around there, you know. So um, the one thing that eluded me was the Olympic Games, but I have I have some great wins over amateur Olympic medalists and world champions like say, Valentino and um, the Turkish boxer Miklas Varga, the Hungarian boxer, these are Olympic medalists and European and world medalists. Thomas Stalker from the UK, I hold a win over him, he holds a win over me as well. So I've had some really good um, achievements as an amateur, but I still feel like I didn't fulfill my true potential. He doesn't pause for breath, it's all good stuff as well, yeah. but uh, yeah, you're not going to beat him in those. Um... Nah, that's what it does. I've seen his little interviews and the guy just loves to talk. Thanks so much, Cool, got it, mate. Just look at Andy yeah. for me. Hey, that's the only thing that'll be beating me at speaking. There you that's go. the only thing that'll be beating me at. Mason, there you go. Cut. <laughs> Get that in. The matchroom debut as well. Mm. Um, bring any pressure? Do you want to sort of. I don't know, there's part of me that thinks, do you want to sort of show Eddie Hearn, look, this is the guy that you've signed? Uh, you know, I want well, to you kind of have my mind then. Um, obviously, I wanted to let him know and everybody else know that, look, people can rave about these good American fighters, but there's some here, and I'm one of them. And um, precious for tyres, man. I'm not a tyre. I'm good. This is part of the trade. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, so I'm ready just to get in there and just. Um, I just need my win. I need the win more than him. Obviously, that can be rebuild him. Like, like Marcus Morrison has to rebuild. Like, but um, this fight, this fight's got to be a well-born win to, to obviously crack on to see where I want to go.
And just being a part of this, it's been a privilege to be honest. And you know, thanks to you guys and Eddie and Matchroom Sky Sports to making this happen and giving us the chance to get on a great platform. It's been the best. Are you doing all the tests? Yeah, pretty much. I haven't done. Good. I feel like we've got a special bond now. <laughs> so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank We came over Sunday evening, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what um, Tenny done as well, I think. Yeah. Wish you can wake up without having to. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And it was just literally what across the road, basically, you know, yeah. so. Um, Coaching is up for me, but I'm going to help out my old coach, Tony Sims, uh, a man who I adore and I trust and I will always help. So I'm helping these two young fighters. Fine, fine. He's rock water. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we'll see our score here. Great independent score. 47. 47. Matt is my strong point, okay. Oh! Oh! 